This is a game I used to rent from the video store a lot as a kid. This is Rygar. So, uh, very nostalgic for me. Uh, let's give it a, a try. Also, I just realized uh, this game, copyright 87. So this game is uh, 30 years old. This is a weird game with a lot of weird text and dialogues and mm -hmm. oh, it's a weird story. There's Rygar and Ligar and Garlaz. <laughs> Garlaz is from Gran and it's like, what the hell does that mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's a weird game. It's also kind of weird that you can jump on turtles to stun them. And does he have and like Captain America's shield or like what? Like kind of. Yeah, like... it's a weird weapon. He's like throwing, is he throwing his shield or, you know what? If you look at the box, it's sort of like... Yeah, that's his shield. He just has like a, like fire, a fire shield or something. Shield. Yeah. And uh, is it just me, or is, it, is there <laughs> is there something funny about this game? Like I don't know what it is. There's something funny about it. I always thought that there was something funny about it. About the game itself, I, or was it the story that I'm I? I about guess it, to tell? I guess maybe it's the story. By the way, like, the music. Um, listen. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's the Jekyll and Hyde music. I'm pretty sure I played Rygar before I played Jekyll and Hyde. So it's the same company? And I'm assuming I, it's Bandai? It's Tecmo. Um, well, well, well um, Jekyll and Hyde was Toho, actually. But but Bandai, I guess, was like, you know, Bandai made the Godzilla figures and everything. Okay. So I think, uh, I, I, I guess. But yeah, this is Tecmo. Why, where where that music came from or why it's in both well, games, yeah, I don't Jekyll know. Jekyll and Hyde but, is right here. I thought it was yeah. Bandai. Um, it, it, it probably says Bandai on it, but, uh, it is, let's see. Yeah, Bandai. It um, is Bandai. But if you look at the copyright, like Toho, like, you Yeah, know. Toho, Toho yeah. Bandai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, distributed, distributed by Bandai. Mm -hmm. Another thing about Jekyll and Hyde, and this is something I noticed when I rented Jekyll and Hyde, um, and played it the first time, that fateful day, I noticed that the music was from Rygar, and that was another thing that pissed me off. I was like, like, oh, come on, they're using the same music? Yeah, they, well, and, uh, they, they, yeah a lot of games back then like mm -hmm. swapped sound effects and music and things and like that. But it, So what's weird to me is mm -hmm. I don't quite understand. So mm -hmm. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was distributed by Bandai. Then it says, uh -huh. you know, I guess LTD... Copyright, I mm -hmm. guess, was Toho. Like, yeah, I've always been they, told. They, it was... they had a like, what was Toho's claim on this? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly what they, they didn't did, make it. They, they don't have like they, but, they're they're not Robert Louis Stevenson. Like, well, well, they made the game. Like, they did something with it. Um, I, I know. I'm just one. Well, they, they didn't though, they, um, because uh, Advanced Communication Company. Okay. Uh, developed it. So is the nerd video wrong then? Because I talk all about Toho making the game. No, no, it says it says okay. Toho. It says Toho. That's what yeah. I don't understand. Because this advanced communication company was what it was. What you're I basically just read. trying to figure out like what did Toho have to? Yeah, what did fuck did? So if if advanced communication company like developed the game, Bandai distributed the game. What did Toho do? Um, you know, I don't get it. This stage, um, this overworld music, um, or whatever, like this, this I always thought was was really cool. It's very memorable. Yeah. That's a great NES tune. Yeah. I collected like NES games and I collected Atari 2600 games, and um, I brought my Atari 2600 when I was a freshman in 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 college. I brought my Atari 2600, and I, I would just like sit around and play it because I was like really into Atari games and like at the time like nobody else like really was and it was prior to all this YouTube craziness and, and all this where you know people where it was before the retro games really made a resurgence mm -hmm. and I was playing um, just like Atari games and some some of my roommates thought it was kind of cool that I that I had like the old Atari stuff it's like oh you have you have like Atari mm -hmm. games and all that it's you know pretty you know, pretty neat. We haven't seen Atari in a long time. That's fine. So they, they liked it. So I brought my NES to um, to college. And then the year after that. It was big. And like that was college was the whole nostalgia, like reliving your childhood thing. Like like that was the whole you, when did all you, that started. Did you bring your NES and, no, to college? No, I mean, I never even would have thought of that. I was like, like, you know, the first person who had an NES in college was like, oh, wow. Like NES, remember that? And then it. You know, then it started to like become like, oh, that's all everybody did. They were just like sitting around playing 
every old game that they remembered. Was that because you came over and I was playing it? It was. Time? It happened in my apartment too. Okay. But, but it was mostly at yours. Like that's where like phase two was for me. Phase two was when I met you, and then mm -hmm. it was like that was when it was like all over. Like like, you, like we were because that's all I did. That's all we we did. I mean, it <laughs> yeah. was like we would come over and like and um, you know, we had like maybe five people who would play with us a yeah. lot, and, and we'd all play you know we played new games too we played like monkey ball and uh yeah. like night fire 007 and stuff sure um but but anyway like the, the rolling rock story it's like everybody everybody knows like the nerd drinks rolling rock like, that's just like it became like a thing like a character trait like right. you know popeye eats spinach it, i just felt like it, it needed a thing in there sure um so i made i kind of made that and what i was remembering at that time i remember the, the first time i had rolling rock um was at your apartment like for whatever reason i don't, I don't know i just that's that's what we had you know, we had that yeah. night or that's what i bought but i i came over with like a six pack of rolling rock ended up drinking five of them which was not good and then you know it was college you know we we would drink excessively sometimes you know uh you do stupid shit in college that's the way it is um and then at the end of the night i remember um leaving your house at some odd hour in the morning it was like probably like I don't know, four in the morning or something, and it's raining outside. And, and, and I think you had an extra copy of Rygar, and you gave it to me on my w way out. And I was like, oh, here, here's uh, Rygar. Oh, and you have one Rolling Rock left. So here you go. Here, Rygar and Rolling Rock. And um, Rolling Rock and Rygar. That's what you said to me. And, and you put them in this paper bag. And I'm just like in the fucking rain, this paper bag, like disoriented, like lost on my way back to the apartment yeah. in the rain with a bag of rolling rock and Rygar. And I just remembered that. Like, I was like, this is the lowest point in my life or the best time of my life, whatever it was. So that was another time. So did yeah. we, did we die here? Oh, you I've, I've been it? dying. But anyway, oh, okay. now that we're done the, the rolling rock Rygar thing, um, we can start. There's a grappling hook you need to get. And I, and I haven't been able to find that yet. Um, see, I don't, it's been so long since we played this, um, I don't really even remember if, if it was even that good of a game, it's just something I, just, I remember. I just remember it's like really complicated and mm -hmm. I had to use like a big walkthrough to get anywhere in it. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to remember, this was another thing that appealed to me about the game, was these like mysterious dialogue boxes, like Simon's Quest, yeah. it's sort of like people tell you things and, and it gets you sort of excited, like, oh, what's, what's Garba? Like, I, like, I want to find what Garba is. Yeah. It's short for garbage. Yeah, it's short for garbage. <laughs> The grappling weapon will help you complete your quest. It definitely it will. sure will. <laughs> What's the next objective? Oh, it's is it? How do you use it? When well, you like, when you get automatic. to the yeah, when you get there, it's kind of like turtles when you get the uh, the grappling hook, I guess, in turtles. Mm -hmm. It's like automatic. So now I can do that. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, but now I don't. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, you have to go all the way down. You can't drop. That that's kind of sucks. Everything else about this game so far, I like. I like the controls. Like it feels good when you hit stuff. Yeah, it does. It's got a good hit detection. That's mm -hmm. satisfying. It's true. Yeah. This game, it, it seems like you don't die in it really. <laughs> you can just keep going forever. Yeah. yeah. Which that's really good. Mm -hmm. um, unless there are can like there I wonder are, if there's a limit. Oh, there's not. Definitely not. Well, well, I mean, I I, th I think it's just infinite. Like basically, like the only way to 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 stop the game is to shut it off. Okay. And then you'd have to play it all over again. So this is a game where you'd hope the power doesn't go <laughs> out or anything, which makes me think the game can't be like that long because um, because if it's meant to be beat beaten one sitting, then I don't know. That just seems weird, doesn't it? Like, you have to beat the game in one sitting. Like, there's no password. Yeah, I think Jurassic Park on Super Nintendo was like that. Or just this big game, but you, you can't really save or anything. Yeah. Look, look at those guys. They're, like, laughing. Yeah, yeah they're pretty See what cool. I mean? Is there, are they funny? There's cool uh, enemies in this. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, if oh. I ever get a tattoo, it would be of that. Yeah. <laughs> it would, that fucking enemy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm surprised how many crazy monsters exist in movies. Um, I've watched an Ultra Q, and it's just like every episode, it's like Monster of the Day type thing. And it's just, oh, that looks like Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah. But they have like the silliest, like craziest looking monsters. Like, not quite as silly as Power Rangers, but they're like still pretty 
pretty crazy. Above here in the skies of Rolsa is a floating castle. I remember that. Mm. Can you like grapple up, up? If you get to that, oh, um, if you touch the door, yeah, you have to hit up the. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah you just, just automatically go in there. Okay, never mind. And of course, it won't let you stand on the door. I see. Okay. Okay, okay. you can do that though. <gasps> Did you see that? The door disappeared. I definitely saw wow. that. From here, you can't go in without the grope. Oh, we have it. Go down. Okay. Uh, did you love how the door disappears? That's so weird. And it, it kind of went out into the sky for like a, a minute. Oh, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> you got to go down that road, man. But, you, but there, there's the door. Your rope's not long enough. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm kind of dead. Look. My tattoo killed you. <gasps> did I just glitch it out? Maybe. Like, I, sh I should have died there. Oh, fuck. Well, now I'm dead. <laughs> Hopefully we're starting at the stones. Good. Yeah. Okay. That's good. By the way, that Alice Cooper thing you showed me was so cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a good story. Oh, you're the guy with the, the snake, right? I dig that. <laughs> You're a little, little snake on your head, huh? <laughs> yeah, man, that's cool. You want to see my gun? <laughs> <laughs> Point a loaded gun at me. I'm going to show you how to take a, a gun out of somebody's head. That's what Elvis <laughs> liked to do. He liked uh. to show people his gun collection. Mm -hmm. And then and then pull, like, <laughs> tricks. <laughs> you know? That's, part, that's totally Elvis. Uh. Hey, man, what do you think of my gun? Want to hold it? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty nice gun, Elvis. What are you trying to do? Kill me? He <laughs> <laughs> gets his man on you. <laughs> Get this maniac out of my room! <laughs> but you're the one that gave me the gun. Don't be talking back, man. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, you got problems. Yeah. Did you see the um, the Elvis Nixon movie? You know, I I didn't. I have to watch that. Mm. Yeah, I don't like the the impersonation of Elvis. Like, I don't think he looks anything like Nobody's him, ever done him well. Yeah, but I, I think the the acting's really good. And um, yes, like, by the way, I've seen the fucking Kurt Russell movie. Oh, that one? Look, there, there are people that have played Elvis better than other mm -hmm. people. I like Bruce no, Campbell as him. Yeah, no, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I like Kurt Russell as him. Mm -hmm. I like, um... I like Bruce Campbell as as Elvis. Like, there's people that I I enjoy watching play Elvis, but nobody's like really does it like. Mm -hmm. the, you know what the best impression of of Elvis is? Mm -hmm. Andy Kaufman. Oh yeah, <laughs> by far, and he's the first person. Yeah. I I think he invented Elvis impersonation, mm. which is another thing oh, that's Andy crazy. Kaufman did. Oh, do you see that? I like I I glitched that guy out. He just disappeared. <laughs> I I have read that this is a very glitchy game. So I can there's see like that. yeah, but there's like tricks you can do to like go into parts of the game that you're not supposed to go uh, into. Really? Things like that. Cool. So this would be like remember when you're doing all your glitch videos? Yeah, this would be a good one. For yeah. That. Interesting. I remember like when I would play games with my sister, like. I think she wouldn't want to play games because of things like that in games. Like, she couldn't accept uh -huh. certain things. It's like, well, why would you ever have to jump over a door? To, uh -huh. Like, it doesn't make sense. And, like, couldn't get past okay. things. So she wouldn't, like, want to continue because it's like, that just doesn't make sense. So it's, <laughs> which it's, is like, every game, basically. It, which is every yeah. game. Well, like, if you're playing, like, Mario Brothers, it's like, you get a mushroom to grow bigger. She'd be like, well, the mushroom doesn't, like, it, you know, yeah. just, like, <laughs> cannot accept anything because yeah. it's not, like, realistic. Okay. Well, what about stories? Like, what about Alice in Wonderland? Oh, no. I mean, she likes that stuff. But it's more it's just, like, video it, games. Yeah. If it's video games, then it's, like, a problem. Hmm. I think I'm that way with music. Okay. Like, if if I'm, like, lost with it, I'm just, lost like, done. What, what's... <laughs> Because, like, so much music doesn't, like, make fucking any sense, like, whatsoever. Because at least not it's, to me. it's, like, abstract. It, like, yeah, it's it so abstract. Mean... I'm just like, okay. I don't really like abstract film, like, okay. that much either. Like, you like know, it has we... to be clear what it's about, is what you're saying. Like, a, yeah. a story or something that, that you could follow. Usually, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like, it's like Spock in a, a Star Trek V. Like, but, but life is not a dream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm fucking basically fucking Spock. 
So you definitely don't want to get hit by anything. Uh. Oh! How do you hit him then? Ooh, oh, maybe you jump over him. Let's try that. Oh, you get him from the back? That's a good idea. He might turn around, but let's see. The fuck is that? Is that it's a it's a turtle? Lamb. Yeah, it's like hamster two head hamster heads on like a turtle body. Oh, oh it does turn around. But actually, you could kind of oh, like bounce. There you go. That might be a way to dodge. No, <laughs> did you see I was dead, but I was bouncing on him? That's great. Oh, oh. There you go. Now you got a method. <laughs> look at that. Look at it. you go now. James, wouldn't you, James wouldn't it, has got it down. Yeah, and going back to a complaint uh, that we point out a lot is, wouldn't it be nice to know how many hits like uh -huh. if he had a, a power meter? Yeah. You know what game's awesome with that? Wizards and Warriors. Like, you could see exactly what you need to... Mm -hmm. From what I remember. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's good. Six. That was six shots. Six shots. Okay, ah, don't ah, go near ah. the thing. Yeah, watch out. Stop! Oh, I was too close to. Ah! Oh, I just want another shot at that. I just want to not get stuck there. Like be a little more. To, to the yeah, yeah, but it's it's hard because that's where you need to be. All right, I I obviously. There you go. Uh, See, I need... They're too... You want to be far so that they can separate. Mm. I try this fucking thing. It's like you can't really get time to... I know. Get them. Ah, you fucker. Ah! <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh my god. Wow, that's, that's pretty like cool though. Ridiculous. Ah. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like... it's frustrating, isn't it? It's awful. Like, this is the first boss that you meet in the game, really? I guess so. This is. I mean, I don't know. Like, what's the what's the last boss, right? <laughs> Shit. Ooh. There you go. It's, uh, it's the mm. <laughs> man. Yeah. What I think happened, I used one of those like power up things and. If we would have had that, we could have filled up. You know? uh, yeah, that would that would be like, helpful. We just we're just not prepared for this fight. Like we just have nothing. Fuck, that Ooh. fucking jump! Oh my god, look at that! Did you see that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Also. Oh, did you? Oh my god! Where? How'd you get here? I don't know. Oh. A robot. <laughs> Wow! I... The, the, what just happened? Did I beat... I didn't... I, did, I don't think I... I don't know. No, you fell into a glitch, and here we are. It's starting on the glitch? I was about to give up. You, see, and the I, game was like, okay... See, I never give up. <laughs> wow. So... We've been saved by a glitch. That pisses me off though. I wanted I wanted yeah. to beat that fucking thing. Yeah, because now now we're not real we don't even know where this is. Like are we the, the whole game's like glitched out or something? You I think we gl just glitched into a totally different area. Yeah. 